Chair, now recognize the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Gates, for five minutes. General Langley, I have constituents that have been scattered across Africa on train and equip missions. So just ballpark in the last decade, how many Africans has the United States military trained and equipped? Congressman, I don't have that, that figure. I can get that figure for you. Though. Ballpark, just, you know, how many? Uh, Congressman, it would be a wild, it would be a wild guess, right? Seems now. like something we should know, right? Over the years, um, we have trained a substantial number, especially in the, the Gulf of Guinea uh, states. Um, uh, but in, including like more than 10,000? It is more than 10,000. More than 50,000? I'd say we're, we're reaching around 50,000 50, okay. at least. And, and, and what percentage of the people we've trained end up participating in insurrections or coups against their own government? Very small number, Congressman, very small number. So what percentage do you think? I'd say probably less than 1%. But it does uh, happen. I, right? The IMET program is in, in force, in, uh, uh, and we've pushed a number, uh, a significant number through our schools uh, across the yeah, And, and what data sets do you track to arrive at the conclusion that less than 1% of the roughly 50,000 that we've trained have participated in coups? Because um, it would be like about 500. About 1% of 50,000. Uh, Congressman, you may have that information. I, I don't at this time, but I know. Well, I know there are one. some, right? Like in, go ahead and throw up that image. This is uh, Colonel Mamade Dumbuya, and this is a photo of, of him. Did we train and equip him? In Guinea? Uh, by name, I, I cannot identify that. Well, well, that guy in the middle with the big red hat, Colonel Mamade Dumbuya, that, that's him with a bunch of US service members outside of our embassy. And just months after this photo was taken in 2021, he led a coup in Guinea and, and threw out the, the leader. Does that concern you? Congressman, core values is what we start off with in IMA pr programs. Do we, we share stick core values with Colonel Dumbuya? Core values, I will repeat that. Core values, know, respect for humanity. Do we do we share those values with Colonel? Dumbuya? Absolutely, in our in our curriculum. He led a coup. We do. Okay, well, I, I, that's a very telling answer. In Burkina Faso, did we share core values with the uh, leader that we trained there, who led a coup? It's in our curriculum. We Leading stress core values. Curriculum? We request civilian-led governance. Wait, wait, uh, wait, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is leading coups in our curriculum? Absolutely not. So civilian so led, civilian is, led. My question is, do we share core values with the coup leader in Burkina Faso who we trained? Holistically, we teach whole, uh, uh, you know, core values uh, with a respect for civilian governance, apolitical, and that's what sticks across uh, a high, very high percentage in the 90, 90 over but not 90 everybody, nine percentile. Right? But not everybody. And, and when it, I wonder how many people it takes to, to plan a coup. I mean, initially you didn't know how many we trained and equipped. Then you said it was 1%. You had no base, basis for that 1% number because there's no data set you track. Mr. Chairman, I seek to, uh, unanimous consent to enter into the record. Another U.S. trained stol soldier stages a coup in West Africa by the intercept. Without objection, so ordered. And I, I further seek unanimous consent to enter into the record. U.S. forces trained the Guinean colonel behind the recent coup in West African country, and this is regard to Guinea. Without objection, so ordered. So I guess the, the question is, why should U.S. taxpayers be paying to train people who then lead coups in Africa? Congressman, our curriculum harvests this core values and also uh, to, uh, to be able to embolden these countries for a representative democracy. But, but, but General, that democracy isn't what emerges. The problem is, I, I know you, you may have great confidence in what you're teaching, but when two governments have been overthrown, I guess, uh, how many governments have to be overthrown by people we train before you sort of get the message that our core values might not be sticking with everyone? Is it five countries, 10? We'll, we'll continue with our persistence in assuring but do you think it's that, they harbor, they, that they harbor democratic norms, you, democratic values. Just a moment ago, you said, you said we shared core values with Colonel Dimbuya. You said, you said that just moments ago in response to my question, and his core value seems to be leading a coup. So I, I don't think it's stuck. 
I think we should at least know how many countries we train the coup plotters in. Uh, how many is too many? Because clearly two is not too many, and I think we could use our resources far more effectively than doing this. Gentleman's time has expired. Chair, and I recognize the gentleman from New York, Mr. Ryan, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, in particular, I just want to thank 